Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Hot Shot Chefs. Today we're going to be doing Banana Foster. we got the bananas right here. And I've got the Fosters! Am I right? Look at Banana Fosters. No. That is... Jane... No! Yeah! Yeah! Banana Fosters. No, no James. Ban Banana Foster. It's... Not Foster's beer. It's a flambe dish. You light it on fire, putting alcohol in it. Oops. That's not beer. Oh. We could. No, what, James? What were you thinking? Banana Fosters? You come up with this? Yeah, oh, it's Foster. You know, you weren't thinking. I, I can't believe. Oh my god, we have an episode. Of you get out. Just, just go. Think about what you did. Take your beer. out to dinner on a date and you know you had your dinner but you're not really feeling dessert just yet you know you go home you don't want to pay for a dessert you're full but then you get home you're like hey I'm still kind of hungry but you still got that whole date in mind the passion and love you want to get in the kitchen and light that fire once again figuratively and literally we're gonna be lighting the fire in the kitchen today we're gonna to show you how to light a fire in your kitchen and press your date that's right. So banana foster, light and alcohol, bananas, everything's gonna be lit on fire. Not everything, just that, just the alcohol. And some other things. Your love. Love will be on fire. Mm -hmm. in a, in a, in a good way. Love will be on fire. How are we gonna do that though? If you make yourself a banana foster, you're a special someone, you're gonna be lighting that fire in the kitchen. The passion, the heat, the love. Well, James, we got a few different things in front of us here. How, how are we going to put together this banana foster? What's going in it? Well, obviously, we're going to use our bananas. Uh, we got two here, two of us. Works out that way. And actually, the bananas are slightly underripe. You don't want to use a ripe banana because when it's sitting there in the pan, it's going to get hot, especially when we light it on fire. Um, you know, it's just going to turn really mushy if it's too ripe of a banana. Yeah. So, well, slightly underripe is the way to go. Um, but we got all this other stuff we're going to use. We're going to put in uh, two tablespoons of butter to our skillet to melt down. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and then a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We, we'll, we'll get to that later. Once all that other mixture is put in the pan, we're going to stir it around until all the sugar is dissolved. The next step is adding our bananas, mm -hmm. right? So what we're gonna do, take our lovely bananas here, cut them in half lengthwise, and then slice them in half the other way. So basically you're getting quarters of bananas, sure. makes it easier to cook. You cook the bananas for a minute on each side, flip them over another minute. A easy way to help the bananas along, cook them well, so while they're in the pan, in that sugary mixture of deliciousness, you take a, a big kind of tablespoon, ladle, whatever, and you just kind of spoon that mixture across the bananas, helps them cook, nice and sweet, extra flavor. a very large fire. We like to do things big at Hot Shot Chefs. Now, we're not in love necessarily like ones that would be on a date, but hopefully your fire can be about as big as ours. Well, we've almost sacrificed our eyebrows. Now we have this delicious dessert in front of us. Let's see how the fruits of our labor taste with a little vanilla ice cream on top. Well, 
There's a lot going on here. Yeah. First off, you got the hot and cold going on with the bananas and the ice cream. You also get that uh, caramelization that happened with the bananas in our sugar mixture. It almost got that like little, uh, almost smokiness to it. Yeah, a bit of, bit of a nutty kind of with the caramelized butter and allspice in there. Hmm. You know what I must say? I don't really like bananas. But this is pretty good. It was pretty good. That was good. You know, I got a sweet tooth. Might have to go to the dentist next week. Got a cavity or something. Probably. But it was worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching our flambeing and all the intensity it brought into our kitchen, but hopefully it will still encourage you to try it out in your kitchen on your next date night. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Keep trying out our recipes and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you on next week's episode of Hot Shot Chefs. Well, James, now do you see the difference between we just did Banana Foster versus Banana Fosters? It could have worked. It could have worked? Yeah. It's beer and bananas. This is like the most disgusting combination of two things I could possibly think of. I'm sure they're going to be worse. Yeah, okay. I'm surprised you don't have vinegar and peanut butter with you too today, you weirdo. Like really, bananas and beer? Where is it? I want you to try this just to see how ridiculous. I can't even like, make sure you get a good full mouthful of banana, pile it on some beer. I hope the beer's warm too. Nice buttery beer sauce on your mushy banana. It sounds like a great idea, James. Unbelievable. You need to just what other it. brain busters you just need to let it go. You need to let it go. You need to let something go. The heck is this? Hey. Hey. Banana and Foster's beer. Unbelievable. What a jerk. Give me a whole lecture about Banana and beer not working. Here he is, lying with them both. Unbelievable. I don't even know what to say about this. It's like getting a whole freaking thing. Just thinks he's so smart with all his food cooking and all that nonsense. You know what? You know what? Eat your bananas.